Good morning, guys. I am Patty Elhoff, the author of Upcycle with Decoupage, and I'd like to show you the project we're going to be working on today. It's this pretty little bowl that I made out of plaster of Paris, and it was pretty easy, really, and some decoupage, and I'll show you what we need in order to make this. So you're going to need an empty plastic water bottle, something you can dispose of and you have to make sure you have the lid, a measuring container. You want a straw or something like this. <clears throat> Excuse me, I used a, uh, something wide or a balloon pump. You need balloons and you may want to stretch those out first. Some plaster of Paris a funnel. I just made this myself with some craft paper and a piece of tape. We'll also need some chalk paint or gesso, wrapping paper and or tissue paper. We'll need some decoupage scissors or the smallest scissors you can find, an assortment of brushes. We'll need decoupage glue and this two-part resin. This two-part resin is optional, and you may want some glitter for this. So the first thing I did was I measured the plaster. I put two parts plaster to one part water, and it's best to already have the water in the plastic bottle. Then you can see I'm adding. <laughs> I sound like Bobby Brady today. I'm adding the plaster into the bottle. Then I put the lid on and I shook it up. And I'd say I did this for about a good three minutes. You wanna make sure that's all dissolved and melted in there. And by the way, I used uh, half cup measurements. So I used two half cups of the powder. And I'm putting the balloon over the surface of the bottle now and I'm going to squeeze that all of that mixture into the balloon. So you want to hold it tight there at the base, make sure it doesn't tear or spill out of it. Then you want to put a, either the balloon pump or something inside to blow it up. I'm actually blowing it up off screen here. <laughs> and you want to fill it, but don't overdo it because you don't want that to pop. And tying it could be a bit of a challenge. So you tie it and then we'll put it aside to dry. Actually, roll it around a little bit, but don't coat the whole inside. Wipe off the outside here and set it someplace so that it will dry with a flat bottom. I waited a good hour before I did this. I took a sharp knife, pierced the balloon, and pulled it away, and this looks just like half of an eggshell. It's got a very uneven coat on the top. It's incredibly smooth. There are some recipes online for how to make the plaster of Paris a bit stronger because right up at the very top edges, it is like an eggshell. It will crack very, very easily. So you just want to be aware of that. I did put some decoupage glue all around just the surface, the edge there to reinforce it a bit. You can also use white glue. Elmer's glue is fine around there. And I'm using the chalk paint, and gesso would work well for this too, because it's actually got plaster of Paris in it, so this is going to reinforce it a little bit more. That little ridge there is where I applied the glue, but I really, I did need to enforce it. It was really so fragile. So you may want to also do that. This is another reason why I'm using the two-part resin, because that dries like a plastic, and that will make this even tougher. So I'm just going to paint this whole surface and put it aside to dry.
While that's drying, I'm using my decoupage scissors to cut out some wrapping paper. This is from my wedding 13 years ago. <laughs> and some tissue paper. I'm not using napkins because I want something a bit stronger, again, to reinforce this. I'm now going to add my decoupage glue and I'm starting up at the top here because I'm actually going to fold some of the pieces of cut paper over that top. That top area is the part that's the most delicate which is why I seem to be obsessing on it but uh, it really is so fragile. I'm just going to put some of the paper up there and decoupage that first. Now I'm just going to continue to decoupage the rest of my bowl and I'll even put a little flour on the inside then I'm just going to put it aside to dry I'll add a couple more coats of decoupage glue and let each coat dry now I'm going to add this two-part resin and the only reason I'm doing this again is to reinforce these areas up here and I'll mix this up some people hate to use this so you don't have to so I'm going to mix up this two-part resin. It's all mixed up now, actually, and I'm going to add the glitter while it's wet. I should be wearing gloves here, but what I'm going to do is just apply a bit of this to the edge, and then while it's wet, I'm going to add some glitter, and this I'm going to let sit overnight to dry. This does take a good at least 8 to 12 hours to dry. And here we are the following morning with our completed bowl. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for subscribing, you guys, and your very pleasant comments, most of you. <laughs> Lillian, thank you so much. You're so adorable. Sending me a thank you card. You're very sweet. Imagine what we can do with this around Easter time when we're making egg decorations. I'll be trying some other products. There's some other products out there that uh, we can also work with, but they're much stronger. So I'll experiment with those for you. And possibly for Christmas time, we can make some lovely glittery crafts too. Thanks again for subscribing, guys. I hope you like this. you got to have a place to keep your pearls, right? <laughs> and maybe even your car keys, something special for your dog, your, your dog leash or collar or your cat's collar. And I'll see you guys next week with another video. I hope you enjoyed this. And I know I enjoyed making it, and I love, love just checking in with you guys and hopefully helping you out. Don't forget about my Facebook page, Upcycle with Decoupage. Don't forget about my website where you can buy so many of these products. Take it easy. Bye-bye.